Hey there, Virgo. This is going to be your monthly love synergy reading for March 2017. And this is for Virgos who are sun, moon, and rising signs. So, as you can see, I've already pre-shuffled the cards just to avoid taking up too much time of the reading. Um, if you're not familiar with how this reading works, I look at four elements which represent earth, air, fire, water, um, Earth, air, fire, and water sign love interest for you. So I look at first if um, earth sign. So Virgo, your synergy this month between you and a fellow earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, love interest. You have make the effort with the five of pentacles. So, <clears throat> excuse me. For you, Virgo, I feel like you're tired of the, making the effort. There's something not being reciprocated. It's like you're doing a lot for this other individual or doing a lot to appease this love interest or partner of yours. And it's like it's leaving you depleted. It's leaving you feeling a lack of self-worth. Like I'm doing everything and this person is not. Um, they don't recognize. It's like almost like they don't recognize the effort that you put in or they don't value um value what you're putting in so it's like it's leaving you feeling parvished and almost like cold like I'm done almost like you just want to shut down and you don't want to even focus on this person at all or focus on love or you're just like I'm not doing anything else for this person and I feel like um not just in a romantic sense but for some reason I feel like if you have earth sign uh family members or friends it's like you're done trying to appease them because they don't recognize what you're doing I feel like you give people money or something like that like you're taking care of people financially or you're doing your part or you're trying to help people financially and they kind of just don't recognize your efforts um giving them something valuable you whatever you feel is valuable to you you give that to them and it leaves you feeling dry is what I'm getting you're needing to heal. There's green here in these two people. Whoever these people are, these you see the boy, he's kissing on the girl. I'm just kind of not brushing them off, but not as open as this this child is. Then you look here, this guy that is the depleted one, he's wearing green as well. So this is a sign to me that there's some healing that needs to be done, mainly in the heart chakra. So I would suggest working on your heart chakra this month, Virgo. Um, especially if you're dealing with uh, earth, um, fire, sorry, uh, earth sign love interest. For those of you dealing with a air sign love interest, so Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, you have calling in your soulmate with the justice card. The justice card actually is the sign of Libra. So this could be very well for a majority of you be a Libra sign, um, the sign of Libra. I feel like you are calling in if you're single i feel like if you're a single uh virgo you're calling in the perfect partner for you the one that more than likely is um karmically connected to you is a karmic partner not in a bad sense um or a past life relationship into your life a marriage partner someone because justice can represent marriage at some at in some cases so I feel like you're calling in that ultimate partner that's meant and divinely um, meant to come into your life bring you balance bring you stability um, for those of you who are in a committed relationship or dating a air sign individual I feel like um, what's happening is there's two things going on here kind of like they're helping you to figure out what you want in love and relationships if this is a long time relation a long time <laughs> long term partnership or not there's so much going on with you Virgo it's like I can't grasp everything that's coming to me it's like too many things too many messages coming in at once so if I sound like I'm stuttering and I'm all over the place it's because I'm trying to catch what's coming in but Whoever this is, it's almost like if you're dating 
an air sign. It's like they're helping you to figure out what it is that you really desire in a partner. And it's helping you to send out that order into the universe. Like, this is what I want. That's the, I don't want that. This is what I would like. This is the characteristics that I'm attracted to. Um, I would love that. This, no, not that. It's like you're placing an order. And if you're married or engaged to this person, I feel like you'll know more and more each day whether or not this person is divinely meant to be in your life you'll start to see the karmic relations the tie the past life connections what it might have been whether you were brother and sister mother and son um father and daughter it's like you'll you start to pick those things up i don't know why that's coming up but that's what i'm getting for virgos dealing with a fire sign love interest so sagittarius aries or leos you have worth waiting for with the temperance. Okay. Um, I feel like you're waiting on a birth. You're waiting on some sort of blessing to come out of this relationship. And I just get children. I get babies. Um, you expect, because I get this Easter energy out of the colors in this card and out of the angel's wings. They're very colorful makes me think of Easter eggs. I feel like fertile, fertility. You might be waiting to get pregnant. You might be waiting for the birth of your child with this person. Um, whether it's you giving birth or they're giving birth, you're waiting for that. Or you're waiting for something to take. Um, it's like almost waiting for something to manifest, this blessing to come out of the situation with this fire sign and I hear Leo's um there's a lot of divine energy you feel like there's a blessing waiting for you there's a lot of angel wings so you're waiting for this divine blessing there's a message possibly that you're waiting on or some type of divine message or you were promised something through a divine message and you're waiting for that to take um fruition or to actually manifest itself okay um is what I'm getting for those of you dealing with a water sign, love interest, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer, you have codependency with the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups actually is a water sign, typically a Pisces. Um, you, I feel like you feel like this person's too clingy this month or they're emotionally depleting you. You feel like they're sucking your energy, requiring way too much from you. Um, it's almost causing you an imbalance because you're a, a earth sign, stable energy, pretty grounded um, into making sure that everything is all your ducks are in a row. For you, this energy is like very off-putting to you. I feel like you're very turned off by this energy. It's almost like you didn't know that this person was like this or they're just taking too much of you. They require too much of your time and attention. Um, kind of a childish energy because I have the, the page, which is the youngest court card. Um, so this is definitely a young person. It's a message. You feel like maybe they exude this energy. They send out this vibe that they're needy. They need you to show them affection or attention. It's almost an obsessive energy to me. It's something about it you don't like. It's an imbalance. You're used to being this. Um, I feel like this is you, whether you're male or female. This person's looks like they got it all together. In comparison to this young energy, this person's very immature, and it could be that they're younger. They're putting you off. It's like, I'm turned off by this. I don't like all of that. I can't always be there. I can't show you all of this affection or all of this attention that you want. You know, and I, I'm just getting a lot of messages throughout the day. So if it's like, if you're busy working because Virgos are known to be hard workers, usually always doing something. So, and they're passionate about what they're focused on. So if they're focused on work or, or something creative, you would know more than me because you are a Virgo, obviously. But this person might be texting you all day and 
pining for your attention and it's very it's a big turn off for you that's what I'm getting like whoever this person is whether it's your partner this month whatever they're doing it's like you wish they would stop or if it's someone that you're just now dating or you might have had an attraction for it's like you got to know them a little bit and you're not feeling it at least right now this month I feel like you need to express that to them maybe tell them because the page can be messengers too. So I feel like within those messages, if they're sending you too many messages or they might be trying to move too fast with the relationship and you're not, you're pretty grounded and pretty s slow, I would say. you got to feel people out. And I dated a Virgo and I know how annoying that can be. And I'm a Taurus. So, <laughs> and I'm pretty stable and, you know, patient. To an extent, but there's a part of me that's like, you if you fool around too much, I get annoyed. So I can kind of see how you, a Virgo would be like, this is too much for me. Like, you need to cool it. Like, you need to chill. That's what I'm getting. So I hope that this reading resonates with you guys and brings you clarity. If it doesn't resonate, take only what feels right to you. And whatever doesn't, just erase it from your brain like it never happened. And I'll see you guys next month. Until next time.